Aboit is not only expanding its businesses in the country, but it's also looking at power projects in ASEAN. Here's my second part of the conversation with Aboitis Power President, Antonio Moraza. Concentration right now in Indonesia, right? So in Indonesia, we're, we're looking at, uh, at geothermal, right? We're, we're on our second slim hole or, or you know, like it's like an expo exploratory hole. But if that being successful, then we have to build a whole series of other holes. And if all that pushes through, we won't get any production until 2021 or 2022. Yeah, the commerciality for geothermal needing a little yeah, more time. It, it, takes, it takes a long time, right? Yeah. And then we're also looking at impounding hydro in Indonesia as well, right? In the very early stages, we've identified a few very interesting sites, etc. But, you know, then we got to go now like, through the permitting, through the, you know, through the community acceptance and then the design. And so, again, that, that's, it's going to be a while. Now, speaking of Indonesia and the Philippines, one thing that's in common, this leads me to the next question, is, you know, you're looking at uh, potential integration of Chevron's geothermal assets to our market in the Philippines. You're looking at, you know, basically, you already run the power plants and the facilities, but the steam side is with the geothermal plants mm -hmm. controlled by Chevron and, to a certain extent, SM. Tell us about, if you can, any status of where you're going in terms of your interest in those assets, because we understand it's up for sale. Obviously, we're very interested. We participated. Frankly, that's almost as far as I can go because we don't know where everything is right now. It's you know it's, it's a it's private transaction. It's 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 on the other side now. They, they you know they haven't made any announcements yet, so we're we're all waiting really. Well, Tony, one thing you look at when you talk about avoid this power is just the generation uh, unit always gets major attention, but the retail side. You've got eight distribution utilities, close to a million customers, and you've got the retail electricity services. Talk to us about those two businesses as growth drivers and how they'll contribute to the bottom line for Boitis Power. We have three distribution utilities that we manage. One we're a partnership in, and then we have four uh, inner zones, right? That's also in distribution. Mm -hmm. All of them are, are growing quite healthily. As a matter of fact, this year, thus far, it's about, it's about an 8% growth. So it's, it's been a stellar year in terms of growth, really. And we're hoping that if the economy continues at this pace, then growths of, of, of that quantum are, are possible. Maybe 8% maybe average is a little high, right? But somewhere around there. I, I think that, that uh, distribution utilities will play its role in, in, in helping us with the bottom line. You know, unfortunately, they're limited geographies because we'd really like to expand those, but <laughs> but, well, but we can't, right? Yeah. Now, on the retail electricity side, you know, you've got a lot of players, conglomerates starting to look into that competi competitive space, thanks, thankfully, uh, from Epira. But how is that space shaping up for you in terms of getting past and going to the retail electricity service contracts? That's going to be actually the biggest market, right? Um, you know, the open access market, I, that's going to end up, well, today it's at about, potential today is about 5,000 megawatts. That continues to grow, right? So it's obviously an area that, that we want to play in. We have been and, and we think are prepared to play in it. You know, we have the organization, we have the systems, we have the processes to be able to do it. So we're hoping that, you know, we can get in there and, and, and capture, you know, a larger market share. And are you building on the backs of your existing utilities or are you just going on to do other geographic areas? Are you building your strength or going beyond that? We obviously, at the end of the day, we would like to sell our own power, right? Mm -hmm. But but we, w we also want to go beyond that and, and, and you know, and, and essentially trade, right? But I think that to, you know, to get into this business with, without, without generation behind you is, is, is probably a, li a little bit risky. 